I wanted to follow up from our blog last week. We got a great response from the different exercises that you can do to, to get more mobilization in your ankles and your hip and more stability in your knees. So what I want to do is give you one exercise for your ankle that will increase your mobility. So if you want to sit down on, on something where your knees are at 90 degrees, you're going to put your fist, make two fists, put them right between your knees just like this. And then what you want to try and do is push your ankles, put your feet out, and then bring your feet in, just like that. But the whole time you want to make sure you can keep your hands, knees against your hands. Just like this, back and forth. You want to try and get your foot as high as you can. So that you're working on that mobility of that ankle that's so important in the golf swing. Very, uh, It's overlooked a lot. And then if you can do that one, then you just want to place your hands on your knees and do the same thing in and out. And then if you can do that one, try it without moving your knees, just moving your feet. Try that for more mobility in your ankle. Now here's a great stretch for the internal hip rotation. Um, that it's so important for loading the backswing on the right hip and then getting through on the downswing, getting your weight shifted over on the, on the left side. So what you want to try and do is sit down, hold your weight behind you just like this. Keep your butt, the important thing is to try to keep your butt cheeks on the floor and your foot down flat. And you're just going to drop your knee down as far as you can on the right side. You're going to feel a big stretch. You may feel it on the inside of your thigh, you may feel it on the outside. But you just want to drop that down as far as you can go. Try and keep your butt cheek on the ground and your foot on the ground and go down. If you feel any pain on the inside of your knee, you want to stop. And then you can also just try and let your, let your foot up and you can go just a little bit further. But if you can, you just want to keep that down. Go down as far as you can go. Keep your butt cheek on the ground. You don't want to do this because then it's going to, you're not going to get as big as a, of a stretch doing it that way. So try that on the right side. And try that on the left side, back and forth. Hold it for about five seconds each time. The last thing we want to talk about is knee stability. And the stability muscles around the knee are the, are the muscles that hold the knee from doing that turning and going side to side, which it's really not supposed to do. So the best way to work those little muscles is to one of the best things is just to stand in one place and you'll feel them. You'll feel them in your ankle as well as around your knee. You can kind of just move around a little bit, whatever you want to do there for that. And then close your eyes and make it a little bit harder. And you'll really start to feel that stuff working in there. Another thing you could do is just kind of move around a little bit. You can rotate that way. You can do it on both sides for your left side as well. And then to add a little bit more difficulty to it, you can use a pillow. I'm using the Airx pad here, but you can use a pillow. You can stand on that, and just the um, the unsecure base is going to make your muscles work a little bit harder. So all those muscles around the knee are firing, and that's going to give you more stability around your knees. Try it on both sides. So we got ankle mobility, hip mobility and knee stability, all going to help with that sway and slide that's bothering you in your, in your golf swing.